guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new my name is Amy this is my brand new YouTube channel where I post like fashion home and lifestyle content and today I'm back with another haul this one is from H&M H&M it really stresses me out having to say the name actually because when I like when I was growing up we always called it H&M but now I understand that it is more widely accepted as H&M what do you think <laughs> maybe both is fine I don't know call it whatever you want it's a bit like where I grew up we said new new look rather than new look new look new look you know but now everyone seems to say new look and it's not cool to say new look <laughs> anyway back to the point so today we have a haul of spring summer clothes I am so excited to start dressing for spring slash summer even though the weather currently says um what are you doing absolutely not I'm kind of hoping that if I just go with it the weather will catch up because that's how science works but basically you know how these videos work I'm going to show you what I bought then I'm going to try it on and that's that we're gonna have a lovely time while I've got your attention quickly just before I start the haul I would just like to say that if you are new here and you like these kind of videos I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel and stick around I'm gonna be posting once a week at the moment and then I'm hoping to up it to twice a week in a few weeks time it's free and it really helps me out you can give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy these kinds of videos hauls fashion kind of videos it really helps me figure out what to make more of so it really is really helpful and let me know what you think of the items leave me a comment leave me a couple of comments do you think they're horrible do you think I did well let me know okay so with my admin out of the way let's actually crack on the first thing that i got this is the reason that i placed the order and it is very much a basic you know how like wearing shirts underneath sweater vests or like with the collars popping out of jumpers is quite on trend at the moment with the whole academia trend i said that in my video last week but i couldn't remember whether it was pronounced academia or academia and now i realize it's because i was thinking of macadamia nuts which i've never actually eaten but basically i just wanted a way to pull that trend through to spring summer so i decided to get a short sleeved shirt and i haven't actually seen anyone on instagram wearing short sleeved shirts yet so maybe i'm ahead of the trend but i got this one now in my head this was gonna be like a cute shirt just really crisp white with a nice collar um and i was going to be able to wear it with like sweater vests with the little end of the shirt like tucking out underneath the sweater vest but um as you can tell i don't even know if you can tell it is so long it's like dress length it doesn't say oversized anywhere on the website i don't think but it definitely is so if you would like this shirt definitely size down if you unless you want it this oversized um but other than that i really like the look of it it has got that kind of crisp white collar that i really wanted the sleeves are a nice length i really didn't want anything that was going to be too short um i like the fact that it's got two pockets on the front it's a really soft material it feels quite high quality so let's try it on and see what it looks like I have got little shorts on in the interest of not flashing everyone. This is how long the shirt is. Like, this is my knee. It is absolutely gigantic. That being said, aside from the sizing mishap, I do really like it. Um, the, sh the sleeves are longer than I wanted. Uh, my elbow, like, sits underneath them. I would have rather they were, like, sort of there, I think. But I do just think that that's because the shirt is too big. So I am probably going to send this back and go for the size down. I like the fact that it's got two really big pockets. Even though I won't put anything in them because it'll look strange. Um, like to have bulges there. I think it gives it like a really nice symmetrical design. It just feels really high quality. Like I've got a couple of white shirts. And this is my favourite texture out of all the white shirts that I have it just feels very sturdy I like the fact that the sleeves are like stitched rolled up I think that kind of adds a little bit of detail and actually I really like that about this shirt the fact that even though it is completely plain like all white there are quite a few little details that make it look less like a school uniform shirt and like just a bit more intentional if you know what I mean like the pockets like the sleeves um 
yeah I do really like it I'm a bit annoyed because yeah I can't do my little sweater vest thing in fact you'll see what I mean in a second so to go with the shirt I bought a little sweater vest it's blue it's got a v-neck it's like this kind of knitted material I really like the um like the edges and the fact that it's got uh, there's like a distinction between the knit of the rest of it and like the hems almost. There must be a word for it, but I don't know what the word is. Um, but I think it's really nice. It's cropped, which I love because it'll sit nicely, hopefully, um, in the right place. I have a couple of sweater vests that are like full length and I find them quite awkward because I always want to tuck them into things. But then sometimes they're too bulky or you lose a lot of the detail on the bottom. So I really like the fact that this one is cropped. I love the colour, I think it's so nice for spring summer, um, although maybe a sweater vest is a bit warm for summer, but definitely for spring, and also I live in England, so nothing is actually too warm for summer, anyway. I could literally wear this, like, together as a dress, which was not my intention when I bought it, but I have definitely worn more ridiculous things in my time. Um, in terms of the sweater vest, I really like it. I like the neckline. I think it's absolutely perfect for like popping a collar through. It sits right on your waist, which is really nice if you want to tuck it into anything. Um, yeah, my kind of intention was to have the shirt so that like just the ends of the shirt could come out from underneath the sweater vest. Obviously a lot more than just the ends of the shirt come out from beneath the sweater vest. But um, that was the intention. I really like it. I like the shape of it. I like the knit. I like the colour. Yeah. I'd call this a success, I think. So, on to the item that pulls the vision of that outfit together. I have a skirt. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know I am currently obsessed with the like pleated mini skirt, tennis skirt kind of trend. And also it's my birthday in a few weeks. How is it in a few weeks? But I'm hoping to be able to have just a really little outdoor birthday party if everything goes well with the restrictions. And if I do, it's going to be tennis skirt themed. So I'm currently on the hunt for like the world's best birthday girl tennis skirt. And I do think this one has potential. So we've gone for a nice blue to go with the sweater vest. I really like the shade of it. I like how like, this might be a weird thing to say, how deep the pleats are. I found with a lot of them, the pleats are quite surface level. So then when you go to wash it and iron it yourself, it's really difficult to get the straight lines where they should be whereas these they're like really inset so i feel like it will be really easy just to iron along the crease you know you're old when you're talking about a pro of a skirt being the way that it will iron <laughs> i like the fact that it's got a nice thick waistband i like the way that it fastens it's got like a popper and then a zip as well which is a lot more secure and a lot less faff than some of the other tennis skirts i've tried where they've got like buttons or like hook and eye type situations it's a nice length i think it's just a really nice like no fuss nice pleated skirt you know my only concern is in the way that the stitching is like the pleats don't begin at the waist they begin like at sort of the hip which sometimes can really like put a lot of focus on your stomach which isn't something that I intend to do so let's try it on it might be fine um I guess it depends on how high up the waist sits so let's have a look Here's the skirt, I really like it. The eagle eye amongst you will notice that I have fashioned this situation, just so you can see like what my intention was for this outfit. It is currently, you know, <laughs> not suitable for the outside world because it has been fashioned with a hairband, but with a cropped or just a smaller shirt, I think you can definitely see the kind of vibe that I was going for. Focusing on the skirt itself for a second, I think it is a really, really nice length. Um, it sits like a couple of inches above the knee, which is exactly what I want from a tennis skirt. Like, I don't feel like I'm about to flash everyone every 10 seconds, but I think part of the fun is that like it's 
just a little mini skirt you know i think the color of it is beautiful it's not really a blue that i have much of um it's kind of almost gray blue when i was sending pictures of it to my friend maria she thought it was a gray skirt but it is not a gray skirt it is a blue skirt okay so that was outfit number one now i have another item that i got to go with the same skirt to create outfit number two and this is quite summery i wanted to do a bit of color blocking so I've got this yellow cropped short sleeve cardigan. It's got a v-neck, which does make me a little bit nervous, to be honest, the v-neck. I really can't tell how low cut it's going to be. Um, and when I've got a tennis skirt on, so I've got like my legs out, I don't want too much of my chest out. So I might have to put a little top on underneath it. We will see. I like the fact that the buttons are just the same color as the cardigan itself. I think that it just doesn't bring any attention to that area it's quite like a stretchy ribbed material which is quite comfortable um and would probably be quite nice in hot weather in the summer months i'm being very optimistic about the weather today and i just think the yellow and the blue together i think i've done something you know i really do okay so this little yellow cardigan this is probably the thing that i'm the least sure about that i've tried so far but it's not that I don't like it, it's just that I'm not really sure about this colour on me. Um, and I can't really figure out if there are that many things that I would wear it with. I do really like it with the tennis skirt. I think this is a really cute little summery outfit. It's not too low cut, which I thought it might be. And the buttons do quite a good job. Like, well, there is a little bit of gaping, but like nothing too severe, which is not always the case of little cardigans like this however i think i might end up sending this back just because it is quite a thin material so it doesn't feel like it would necessarily last that long and i just can't really see what else i would wear it with aside from this skirt i don't think it's particularly practical for like all of the other seasons except summer um and we just don't get enough of summer in this country for me to justify a top like this I don't think. It is cute though. Okay, you know I love my tennis skirts, but I do find with tennis skirts you always end up looking a bit cute. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes I don't want to look cute. Sometimes I want to look edgy. So I've got a black tennis skirt with a chain on it. <laughs> Here it is. I'm not sure how I feel about the fact that the chain is silver because I wear all gold jewellery so I don't really know how that's going to interact, but I suppose we'll find out. It's exactly the same as the blue one except for the fact that it's black um there's not really much else to say about this i just feel like it will go with really different stuff to the blue one you can never have enough black skirts am i right no i'm not right i've got more than enough black skirts oh and actually the chain is detachable as well if you would like to stop being edgy for a day give yourself a break take the chain off it's versatile she's versatile okay here we have the black skirt I absolutely love it. I think it's such a nice length. I really like with these ones, they feel quite heavy at the bottom, which I think means that they hang quite nicely, personally. I really like the chain actually. It's not normally my style, but I do really like it. I just think it adds a bit of detail, especially because with dark colored pleated skirts, sometimes you can kind of lose the pleats because obviously there's not a lot of like light and shadow to play with so you at least have this little bit of like extra detailing because it's not like other black skirts you know she's not like other girls absolutely obsessed with this i think it will go with so much i have got a specific outfit in mind so i will show you the top that i picked out okay lastly i really wanted a jumper that i could wear with the little collar of the shirt sticking out and i was looking through all of the jumpers on the website and they just weren't really doing it for me i'll be honest i didn't really want another plain jumper i've got a lot of plain jumpers so then i was like i'll check the men's section and game changer oh my god i got this disney jumper um it has got fantasia mickey on it and i absolutely love it at the top it says the ultimate in sight and sound i really like this color i just think it's so pretty. So that's taught me a lesson, which is always shop in the men's section if you want cooler jumpers. The inside is really fluffy and soft. I want to sleep in this, except for the fact that I don't, because I'd be too hot. And I think it's absolutely perfect with the little collar on. And maybe the black 
skirt actually. I'll try it on with the black skirt. So we've gone an edgy black skirt with an edgy chain and a Disney jumper on top, which... Yeah, I'd say that sums me up to be fair. Okay, I'm obsessed. I love this little outfit. I just think it looks so cute. And it's definitely an outfit that you can transition with like some tights and boots or whatever for like autumn, winter. I love this jumper. I've never checked the men's section for jumpers before, but it does make sense because men's jumpers are always objectively nicer, aren't they? Like sweatshirts like this. So yeah, here's my badass bitch on the bottom, Disney on the top outfit with my little black, oh, you can see the ends of the shirt. <laughs> but, um, God, I'm so, how am I so put together is the question we're always asking. I just think, like, put some little sunglasses on with it, you know, with a handbag, it's definitely a vibe. I love Fantasia, I don't think it gets enough credit. Fantasia is so cute. And Mickey with this little hat on really reminds me of, of the studio's park in Disneyland Paris, and I love that. Yeah, I think it's cute. So that is the end of my H&M haul. Let me know what you thought, which pieces you liked, which pieces you didn't. Um, all of the links will be in the description as always. Also, if you have any video requests or the like kinds of video or like types of video that you would like to see more from me on this channel, then I'm all ears because yeah, it's a brand new channel. So the possibilities are endless. I think that was a big success. I don't think there was anything that I didn't like. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next week. Goodbye.